Comic Sans, regarded as the worst font of all time. Now, in my opinion, I actually kind of like it. But when it comes to everyday life, there's nothing worse than crappy design. And today we're going to be looking at Reddit, where we're going to find the crappiest design of all time. Now, I don't think I need headphones for this, but why not? Okay, so to start off, we have the wheels on the new Mac Pro don't have locks. <laughs> it costs $550. That is ridiculous. Let's watch it again one more time. I want to see this Mac Pro just... Woo, I mean, you could be saving yourself 550 bucks. Money you probably didn't have to spend, but I mean, hey, a dollar saved is a dollar earned. And in this case, it's $550. <laughs> Next up, if you don't know, $718 billion is only a little more than $266 billion. So we have military spending compared to other world powers. So we have China at 266, right? We have France at 52 billion. Okay, that makes sense. 51 billion, 64 billion. All of these are pretty much in the right range, right? But then we have USA over here at $718 billion. Are we trying to defend ourselves from aliens out here? I'm getting a little ahead of myself. It's less than an inch. I did the little inch test. It's less than an inch. It's like three times more. How do you mess that up? Crappy design, but it's an okay design. Six out of 10. Next up, Ladies and gentlemen, the pinnacle of human and stupidity. When it comes to bananas, let me tell you, there's nothing more that I want is to go to a grocery store and grab some singular served bananas. Bananas, like in a bundle of five to six, probably cost like a dollar fifty, which still shocks me to this day. There's nothing better than getting my hands on a single serve banana. Come on now. Now is this ingenuity or is this just crappy design? Ingenuity. 7 out of 10. Oh my god. You guys have probably been in high school. You've probably been maybe to like a concert sometimes, right? The absolute crap design of my school. This is why where every hallway intersects. This is, oh wait, sorry. This, this is where every hallway intersects. Damn right it does. You know what? I will say this is probably a crappy design. But what they should do is install a fire pole. What happens if there's a fire? What, everyone's supposed to gingerly walk out this hallway here? No, people are running for their lives and I need a goddamn fire pole. <laughs> I followed this buck for four I, I can't even say the thing I followed this bus for four blocks to wait for it to pull over to share this beautiful work of art <laughs> oh. <laughs> imagine you're like the, the, the model for this right you're like a local model probably maybe a little bit more corporate let's say you're a, a, a local model right yeah you, you put on your scrubs you get a little stethoscope grab some files maybe a clipboard because every doctor has a clipboard right <laughs> they're like taking photos and they're like oh where might this like go oh it's gonna go on like billboards it's gonna go on like park benches it's it's also gonna go on a bus we don't know the layout yet but uh it's gonna go it's gonna be on a bus and then you you see this <laughs> driving down the motorway <laughs> Oh, oh my God. Okay. I know this says like, that's how I broke my leg. It's, it's really not how they broke their leg. This is not a great design. Now, first of all, I don't like these. Sorry, Mike. I didn't mean to be aggressive. I will say I don't like bridges like this. This is like one of my biggest pet peeves. I hate it. I hate these bridges, man. I don't like them. And honestly, this design is pretty bad. All the woods, the exact same. You think that it's just going arcing down. It's not. It's not. What about if you're in a wheelchair and you're like, oh my God, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll boo, 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 boo. That ain't wheelchair accessible. Let me know if any of you guys have ever seen something like this. I need to get in contact with you. We're going we're gonna to go to the city council. Okay. Okay. Yes. The future. There's nothing better than the future, right? Even getting into the glove box is weird. You don't have okay. a traditional latch. Instead, you go oh into the touch oh screen, the God. controls menu, and there's a little icon for glove Can't... box release. You oh, I thought that, they were going to pick camera. And then it pops open automatically. Why did that guy seem like so reluctant about this like magic superpower? He's like, you guys, you guys have to reach down there, okay? I have this little screen that takes four buttons, one of which I have to click on to release my glove box. Who's winning? I hate the future, man. This is like freaking smart fridges, man. Just open up the fridge to see what's in the fridge. Okay? Okay, so we have like the trolley question. This is a question that you've probably seen before, right? Would you rather kill five people or kill six people? What should the man in blue do? What, what would he do? So if he does go on the left side and takes out the single person, he's also going to be killing the other five people. Now that's bad, but... If the trolley and this blue guy decides to leave the lever alone, he only kills 
five people, which is also bad. Crappy design or just intellectual quotient IQ in the gutter. Five out of 10. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh my God. This is awful. You want crappy design? How about a train crossing a seven lane highway? Now this is like, this is like some... This is the future, baby. I want all trains to be going over seven lanes of traffic. Okay, I want to actually see this video. This is like two minutes of this thing. There's no way that there's not like any drawbridge. You just have to see this mother freaking thing just coming out of nowhere. Who made this? Is this like Whoville in real life? You know what? You know what? I have a I have a sting operation. There's a sting operation going on. This is the goddamn Polar Express. There's a freaking train that goes right through the middle of town. San Francisco, who? Who decided to make this? Okay, I've never been to Lauren, but I already know I don't like her. Lauren keeps the look neutral by stacking books back to front. There's something about this that just like irks me. You know, the IRK word. But I'm gonna say, don't mind Lauren. She's a great friend. We've been together for like five years now. Um, when she decided to move into this new house and buy this new Ikea stand, um, she just really wanted to kind of explore her creativity. And um, just after these five years, I was finally able to actually go uh, go over to her new house and actually meet her for the first time. And um, eventually when she showed me her new Ikea stand where she puts her books back to front, um, I blocked her. I blocked her on everything, okay? She deserved that. I need to teach her a goddamn lesson. It's an alright design, though. <laughs> His shirt meant to say dope, but now I only see pedo. I'm pretty sure this is Chris Ramsey. He's a fellow YouTuber. He's wearing a shirt that says dope. It says D-O-P-E, but if you just, like, shift it over two letters, it says P-E-D-O, which is pedo. Now, I don't think Chris Ramsey's a pedo, but I do think he's dope. His shirt's not, though. Uh, oh god, please not this again. Not these again, man. Place 10 feet away. What does it say at the beginning of this video? Place chart 10 feet away. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be in traffic. It's gonna be in traffic, right? Right? <laughs> Even better. It's gonna go across seven lanes of traffic and then it's gonna, gonna, gonna go check your vision. So you see, like, the design is not bad. It's just bad placement. That's, like, crappy placement. That's not crappy design. That's great. That's in ingenuity. That's innovative. Oh, this camp. Oh, no. 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 Okay, okay. I see Bob the Builder already. I already see stuff that I don't like. Oh, God. When Channel 5 doesn't have a picture for a show on its demand service, it uses Bob the Builder pictures for hilarious results. God damn. Documentary, Bob the Builder, raped m my story. This is probably like a whole series where they, they might interview victims, right? You also got 9-11, mass murder in something. Oh, mass murder in the sky. That makes sense. And then you also got murdered by my daughter. My story. I'm murdered but for my own daughter. And this is my story. And then also Britain's biggest mosque. Because why not? Because Bob the Builder didn't make that? And you also got that shook the <laughs> Windsors. You can't mistake crappy design for ingenuity. Or no, you can't mistake ingenuity for crappy design. Oh, this can't be good. Even their own model is not comfortable with this design. Okay. Oh, even their own model. I was thinking like the model of the design, not the model actually is the human. Let's watch it here. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> oh, brother, brother. <laughs> How would I even? Be what is he doing? He's trying to get back up. I know it. he's trying to shift his weight. Oh my God! Let's watch it again. This is this is not great. This is awful. This is actually terrible. Why is this? Wait, so it's a desk, but then you could also lay. Why? I don't get people like this. Not the model, but the design is. I don't get people how people. I don't get how people design stuff like this. It doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, okay. This is, this is, this has to be the crappiest design of it all. This takes the crown. Just watched a guy go into the wrong bathroom at the Toronto Pearson's airport. He was looking at the top sign. Oh, I mean, this is, this is just crappy. I, I'm sure that this has a backside and this was actually supposed to be flipped and just got installed wrong. Maybe they decided to walk into the left bathroom was like, hmm, I'm going to pull the nastiest prank on all these Toronto. I'm going to, the Canadians are too nice. So I'm going to pull this prank, okay? I'm going to get the real, I'm going to get them going. They're going to say, oh, pardon me, right? Okay, so we have a men's bathroom and a women's bathroom, right? We have the left side and the right side. That's how this is split. But if you're looking at the top side, the women's is on the left and the men's is on the right. 
which makes for a very confusing time and the crappiest design of it all. And if there's anything to take from all this, it's not to mistake ingenuity for crappy design. And with that, Nationers, tap my head to watch another video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. 07. Peace, peace.